Welcome back to Second Accident Radio episode 5, Independent Minds. I am Second Accident and I will hear you after this work by Ambinate. By the way, since now we're on YouTube as well. So yeah, big thank you for your support. Yeah, Embenade became pretty fast one of our regulars. Some of us might say that this is because I'm into futuristic sound design, but um, this is only half of truth, because I hear a lot of futuristic soundtracks on daily basis, and from time to time I also try to play with this direction of uh, music. What I'm trying to say is, it's not really simple to create this uh, kind of futuristic sound design with this um, amount of attention to the details. I think to be able to create something futuristic and uh, at the same time something not sounding like, you know, too predictable, 
you should have the ability to think outside of your time because if you will listen soundtracks with futuristic sound design you will notice that um what makes this soundtracks futuristic is not actually the sound library that artists use to create it in my opinion this is something what i call rational sounding it's actually about uh, specific and uh, stricted logic that artist follow and this ability i think the most interesting thing about embonate we will come back to embonate a little bit later in this episode with his another work but for now i'd like you to check this work by fume this person also has his own view on the process of creating music and uh, what's interesting about this work is his um, work with volume we had a little conversation about this as well but basically i think is uh, he said that uh, you can you can build pretty interesting dynamics by working with sounds and uh, automation of your sounds in this example just focus your attention on vocals and you will understand what he speak about at least i think so <laughs>
next work by Raymond Yan we hear more soft way to represent futuristic sound design, which is achieved by working with more ambient directed sounds, what makes soundtrack sound less aggressive. You probably can even see the difference on your sound visualizer. Its movements will be more soft in the soundtrack, instead of what we saw in the previous works. But coming back to producer. I don't have a lot of information about Raymond Yan at the moment, but I'm sure we will hear him more on this radio in future. All I can say, it seems like he's at the beginning of this path, I mean from perspective of marketing. So he could use some help and I think it would be cool if you could uh, support him with, uh, you know, uh, following him, uh, listening him and uh, stuff like that. Links in the description. I also think the best kind of support that we can provide to artists that we like is actually communicating with them and uh, asking them questions that we most interested about. I think this is the most important thing that um, we can do for the artist at the beginning because we not only get information about them but we also give them the better understanding of what people expect to know from there about them, from them about them. You get the point. You know this kind of situation where audience trying to figure out how the next album is called and when it will appear in the platform and all he see in the Instagram is uh, the breakfast of this artist. So it's actually no one to blame, it's just a lack of uh, connection between artist and audience. Basically makes sense, if you don't ask the questions, you will not hear the answers. The point is, yeah, feel free to speak with artists, connect them, ask them questions, you will not bother them, you will help them a lot by doing this, as you make them better at understanding what people actually trying to know about them, you know. It's really important part of the process. And yeah, sorry about my tone. I didn't try to lecture on you, it's just a lack of air, you know. <laughs> so let me catch the breath and enjoy the work by Raymond Young. <laughs>
I would recommend to pay attention not only to sound design in the next work, but also to the lyrics as it provides very important message. I focus your attention on this uh, detail because uh, first several times I've heard this soundtrack I just was um, immersed by sound design and I didn't really pay attention to what exactly someone speaking about in the soundtrack but then when I heard I was impressed. So my big respect to Elif Murat who is creator of this work. I always glad when I see that people trying to guide other people through their art. Elif Murat report.
like to share with you a little bit more information about uh, next artist. At the same time, I wouldn't like to turn this episode into podcast episode, which is why I'd like to focus on main, the most interesting stuff. And uh, episode by episode, I will share more and more information about artists that we hear here in this show. So the next one is very interesting figure. His name is Thomas Redman. He do a lot of stuff. For example, he has a Twitch channel and he makes DJ sets on this channel. So people come to his live streams to check how he works with sound like in real time, which is uh, really nice and interesting experience, especially if you have headphones, you know, or some kind of monitors, because the beauty of this process in the details. I will link his and other musicians content in the description of this episode on YouTube so that you could easily follow the doing of um, uh, each one of today heroes <clears throat> so yeah music passion by thomas redman
We continue with work by Antik Wasser, very brutal artist with strong mastering. I like his ability to put you inside of his soundtrack. It seems like he most active on SoundCloud at the moment, but I might be mistaken. Anyway, this is his work called Gravity Beacon. Um, meanwhile, I will try to contact him and uh, maybe in next episodes we will get a little bit more information about this person.
the next work called Witness, created by Corper. I personally like his approach to visual design of his works. He has a library of 10 soundtracks at the moment of beginning 2021. Just saying, in case you listen this episode much later than it was launched, you know. So keep in mind, he is probably gonna upload something new soon. He seems pretty serious about his music career in future. I would suggest to keep an eye on him. In his SoundCloud and uh, Spotify bio he shares with us. I make music. To me it says more than uh, it seems like. I might mistake, but uh, usually such things means that person really focused very much on uh, creating high quality audio content. And yeah, I think things that you do usually say much more about you than things that you say about yourself. So that resonates with me. Though I might overthinking all this. Anyway, this is Witness by Corber. have a samsara by absent orbits welcome to my world he shares with us in his spotify bio i mean bio
next up is another work by Corper for this episode because sometimes you want to represent the artist from different sides. This is by the way my recommendation in general to judge not only by one work or if you will not only by one side of someone's life but take a look on a person from different points of view from different perspectives it reminds me a little bit story about blind people touching elephant from different sides and discussing how the elephant looks like and uh, of course each one of those blind people had uh, his own perspective on elephant which is why they never understood each other and never got to agreement but we got a little bit carried away let's get back to the music now playing tension by corper is illusory by Ambinate. Pleasure to hear how he works with more soft sound textures, if you will. Sound textures. That makes sense, right? Illusory by Ambinate.
have two soundtracks called Reborn for this episode from two different artists. And this one came from Strasbourg, France, created by a producer called Macrowave. So yeah, let's dive into this one. The next work comes from India and let's do it this way. I will play it right now and after this soundtrack I will tell a little bit about after. And you, you just focus on this soundtrack uh, and on your thoughts on this soundtrack. Now when the rules are clear let's give a listen to this work by TJSG called Navi. Navi. Thank you. 
So now when we heard this work called Navy by TJSG, I would like you to ask yourself what do you actually think about this work? Because I think the work is pretty cool and the coolest part about this is the textures of um, this um, time, these watches. And not only, I think uh, there is a lot of interesting stuff is going on in this soundtrack. And it's actually in my playlist on SoundCloud and I listen to it on a daily basis. Basically all of this uh, soundtrack that you have been heard on this um, episode is in my playlist. But thing is, this one is, uh, in my opinion, underestimated. Because this one has pretty low numbers and at the same time uh, pretty good quality and the idea behind this um, soundtrack. I can correlate it to the fact that he has only two soundtrack in his SoundCloud um, profile, but at the same time the quality compromised that uh, this person had a lot of practice before this soundtrack has been created. So in my opinion this is someone who restarted his profile um, and started with new name and with new works, but with background. Or maybe it's just me overthinking again, probably because today we have uh, good enough music but not enough information about people who created this. Anyway, now we're getting closer to one of upcoming works by Second Accident. What's interesting about this particular one is um, actually while creating this work we experimented on new method of creating music and we've been forced to experiment in the first place because of limits of um, basically horses in the computer, let's put it that way. The soundtrack is part of upcoming album called 20 years from now. We called it like that because we want you to think about about you basically 20 years from now, about your future. And at the same time we didn't call it uh, 2041, we called it uh, from now to, you know, because people will find it in different points of time. Basically we've been avoid some uh, specific points of time like 2041, because today 2041 is a future, but uh, in 2041 it will be present and uh, when people will hear it in 2041, uh, they will think about 2061. Basically this is my way to make album time independent, so that people could hear it at any point of time and to think about their future or future of their kids. Because let's be honest with each other, 20 years is not that big uh, amount of time. It will go slowly but surely and uh, it's to us to make something big and this is what I want. Since 20 years is quite a um, big amount of time, big enough to do something really great. At the same time 20 years is a uh, time duration that can be easily wasted without even noticing that. I just don't want we to waste it. And one of main things that I want people to pay attention to is what makes sense for you, what the world needs from you, what the world ready to pay you for, what are you love to doing and uh, what are you good Good at. In one word, I would like you to find your Ikigai.
So if you still here, huge thank you for your attention, for your trust, for your support. It means a lot to me and this is big pleasure to create these mixes for you. I hope they will inspire you, grow you as a listener, grow you as an artist, grow you as a person. This is a big honor to be surrounded by such disciplined, such devoted uh, to their goals people. Thank you for giving me a chance to be among you, to do the content with you and for you. It's a little bit sad to say goodbye at this point, but on the other hand, I always hear. You can always reach out to me in social media. There is nothing wrong about it. Keep in mind that you also always welcomed to reach out to all these artists that you heard right now and to all the artists in general basically they will be only glad if you do it some of them may be glad two weeks later after you wrote them but yeah you have to understand that uh, they are quite busy people <laughs> but still people who needs your support your feedback and uh, your attention this is our responsibility to support each other links to all artists in the description i'm your host alex bogo and i will hear you in the next week